welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to show you how to use mind map here on clickup let's begin now the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials if this is your first time here in clickup i need you to click the sign up option and from here just follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go using mind maps and clickup it's a powerful way to visually organize ideas plan projects and brainstorm tasks all right so once you are here on the clickup interface i want you to go to the uh, view option click the view option here the plus button beside the uh this one and hover down to where it says mind map just wait for it is because it's going to load up another interface wherein you can of course choose between task mode or blank mode now on task mode you can create a mind map from existing tasks in your clickup space while the blank mode allows you to start with a blank canvas and create new tasks or ideas in the mind map now if you don't have any experience using the mind map for now i highly suggest you click on the tasks because later once we get a hold of oh, how the workaround for mind mapping you might want to start from scratch and as you can see from here now when you create a mind map in task mode it will help you visually organize existing tasks now all you have to do is select the task mode to automatically generate a mind map based on your existing task and their relationships like subtask now you see there's going to be a root node will be the parent task or the project and the branches will represent subtask or related task if you click on here you would be able to see more information right if you click that you see you can have option to collapse now there's going to be a, uh, a zoom in and zoom out feature down at the bottom you see that now on this side here you can customize that for example you can put in a status is it going to be like in progress you can do that just right here you can put assignees if you want to just enter the email address of that person you want to uh, put in for example if you're working with multiple freelancers clients or team members you might want to do that all right on the dates however that's going to be for deadline if you wanted to put a specific deadline you can do so for example of uh, today tomorrow this weekend uh, you can even set for the current uh, date you can even send notifications for that specific dates you can add custom fields if you wanted all right you can put in tags for example I'm going to use mind map and click up you can put in move and add like a personal list and you can also move and keep in current list if you wanted. You can also convert this thing to subtask right here. And you can send notifications for that. You can also copy this, the assignee status and task ID and copy to clipboard. All right. On this one, it's going to be for view all spaces. And this is going to be for the archiving. All right now you see archiving a task removes it from view but allows you to restore it at any time i'm not gonna do that because it's gonna be uh it's gonna be a hard for me to go to the archive folders you see on the more option you can duplicate this specific mind map you can move and add convert to some task and you can do a lot of options here if you're not happy with that you see you can delete or add a plus button here when you can add another subset click on enter you might want to do so you can move in and weave out here for example uploading the video okay i'm going to uh, create maybe um the uh, process for uh, up, uh our deep lab youtube tutorials create thumbnails or maybe we can actually
just like that and you can of course hover that to once you're happy with that all i gotta do is click on share and automate all right again we can create another mind map wherein we're going to explore an idea using the blank page right you can create a root node here that is for the uh, deep lamps i'm going to put an enter now the blank mode allows you to start from scratch and brainstorm freely you are not restricted right and here you're going to create your first node and click the plus button to create new nodes by putting in maybe how to use maybe mind map There you go. So you can have all this. You can create a task. For example, I'm going to put in this. I'm going to add another one. We're in create um, thumbnails. Upload video. Now, as you can see, once your brainstorming ideas is done, you can convert the ideas into mind map into actionable tasks by clicking on a node here, all right, and convert it to a task. You have the option for the color. You can use that. This one can be uh, this. This one can be this. You see, you can have all the uh, automation and of course, you can move nodes around by dragging and dropping them here to different areas or of the mind map to better organize and structure your ideas of course you can be creative you can customize the notes again with the different colors such as this one right here and you can click on each node to open up for editing just like this one you can delete and you can do a lot of things because you can connect nodes or tasks in the mind map to show relationships between different ideas and this is very uh, useful when i am working with the uh, deep laughs teams because we can now create on the workflows project plans and schedules right without losing any details and data because the mind map will remain consistent across all views and of course once you're happy with that save and share your mind map as you can see there's going to be an option here enter your uh, team your freelancer or your even your client you can even make it private all right and that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching we will see you in the next one